Have you heard the proverb, pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall? We see this principle illustrated in several historical characters in scripture. Take the great King Nebuchadnezzar, for example. He was the longest reigning king of Babylon and is remembered for building his empire by both conquest and by construction. During his reign, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, were constructed. He is the king that conquered Judah and carted many of God's people off to captivity. Over and over again, Nebuchadnezzar wanted the glory, honor, and praise for his own success. Even after being warned in a dream that God was going to humble him, he pridefully took credit for all of his achievements. In Daniel 4.30, Nebuchadnezzar said, Is not this great Babylon, which I have built by my mighty power, as a royal residence and for the glory of my majesty? Scripture records that the words were still on his lips when God disciplined him with a seven-year bout of insanity. The great and mighty king of Babylon lived in a pasture, ate grass, and acted like an ox. Pride often leads to destruction. So remember, no matter what you've accomplished or how successful you are, God alone is worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. How will you give him that today?